YouTubers and welcome back to Dios Prime Review Channel. This this is uh, going to be part two review of the Team G Super 8 Octa Core Tablet PC. And uh, in this review, this is going to go in depth. Check out the pre-installed apps. Do some web browsing. And uh, make sure to check out part one, the first look uh, review. We showed you the free YouTube promo gift. And uh, part three, we'll be doing a live and two benchmark test. So this is basically the first octa-core tablet PC. So 8-core, it's running Shinos uh, 5410. Uh, it's running on a uh, 5410 CPU. 8-core or octa-core. So in this review, we're just going to check out uh, the pre-installed apps, do some web browsing, and just uh, show you the unit. So uh, before we get started, though, make sure to like our video. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And with that, let's check it out. So uh, we downloaded Antutu, and uh, we'll go into that in part three. So this has dual cameras. The camera up here is two megapixels on the front. On the back, this is an eight megapixel camera, and this is a flash here on the left. Show you the ports real quick. Um, power in, 3.5 headphone jack, HDMI. This is a proprietary USB uh, port and uh, micro SD card slot, and here we have a SIM card slot. So this supports uh, 3G phone calling and broadband. It also supports uh, quad band DSM, so uh, 850, uh, 900, 1800, and 1900. So this is a cool little uh, control panel here. You can turn the Wi-Fi on and off, this right here. This is Bluetooth. It has Bluetooth 4.0. And this is for data for the 3G. If you want to enable 3G, you can just click on that. And then this is brightness and refresh. So uh, let's see, it has browser, dual cameras, clock, downloads, messaging, gallery, people, phone. So this makes it doesn't. This is a phone calling tablet. We have not uh, inserted the SIM. If you want to see a uh, um, a video of it phone calling in 3G then you can uh, please just ask us on our comments section you can request us to to make another video sound record and a UT player see if there's anything pre-installed doesn't look like it so actually maybe we'll just check out this way and uh, let's go into settings. Check this baby out. So Wi Fi is turned on, Bluetooth 4.0, Ethernet, data usage. So if you want to turn on 3G, go to data usage. And then uh, if there's a card inserted, you can uh, turn it on. Storage. This is a 2 gigabyte uh, DDR model. And it uh, has, uh, let's see. And it has like 1.3, I believe, gigabytes free. 16 gigabytes with 12.43 ROM available. Apps. We're going to apps real quick, uh, but let's just check out about tablet. So it says Shinos 5410, Android 4.2.2. And uh, the firmware was last updated on uh, September 8th, so just uh, a couple of days ago. So it's truly new. Um, Check out language and input just because uh, for our international viewers. While we're doing this, scrolling through this menu, make sure to like our video. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. So the screen on this is actually uh, 7.85 inches and it has a 1280 by 800 pixel resolution screen, IPS screen. So that means that it's uh, anti-glare. And let's go into apps finally. And uh, under running, we can just verify the rot, the RAM. Okay, so there's 350 megabytes used and 1.4 gigabytes free. You can see that down here in the corner. Maybe zoom in just a little bit more. Okay, let's check out all the pre-installed apps. Okay, we'll just scroll down. 
Uh, APK install black hole Bluetooth share is 4.0. Clock, contacts, contact storage, email, DRM protect content storage, gallery, HTML viewer, launcher, media storage, music, music FX, photo screen savers, system UI, UT player. Okay, so pretty simple. And uh, this is supposed to have built-in 3G. I don't see it here though. So uh, maybe on on the later. This is again. This is like just like the prototype unit. Um, maybe later there will be uh, the GPS version. So this is the 3G version. And uh, now let's just do some web browsing. So we'll go to uh, Dios Prime. DiosPrime.com. There should actually be a, a product link inside uh, our YouTube video description. So, uh, it's asking us if we want to go to the mobile version, but we don't really need to do that. So, once you're here, you can just type in Team G. We only have one, one model listed now, and it comes up as uh, Team G Super 8. E1. Okay, yeah, so uh, yeah, this is the E1, and uh, it will be in stock on the 15th. And uh, this, this is, we'll just scroll through the uh, specs Android 4.2.2, 1.6 gigahertz, uh, Shinos, Samsung Shinos, uh, 5 octa core, 54. 10 CPU. So uh, we'll just have to confirm the GPS and AGPS as uh, we, we did not see that uh, under the, the settings, the apps. 4400 milliamp at battery. So uh, PowerVR SGX 544 GPU. So it supports a 3G, 850, 900, 1900, WCDMA, and a 2100, sorry. Quad band GSM, 2G network, 850, 900, 1800, 1900. Dual cameras, so it supports uh, multi languages, which we just now went through. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's. Uh, there's actually a 3% off coupon here as well, which is another reason. Uh, you just sign up for our newsletter. So uh, let's go to Dios Prime. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can go to CNN. CNN.com. We'll just browse some other sites and uh, check this baby out in action. And uh, we can go to MSN. Get some lighter news. Okay. And uh, we'll go to MTV. And once we get to MTV, we'll show you the IPS screen, the, the viewing angle. <clears throat> so this is working like butter. I'm, I'm loving it. So uh, as you can see here, it has a wide viewing angle. So here, you can clearly see uh, the faces of uh, that woman, and uh, you can even go up to the MTV logo. So yeah, you can clearly see MTV. So it's a, it has a 180 degree viewing angle. This is standing up vertically right now. Flash floods, and uh, yeah. So this just about uh, wraps up uh, this. A review of the Team G Super 8 E1. Make sure to like our video. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned as we're going to be get ready for the uh, for the live and two-two benchmark test. So uh, we'll be right back. Thanks for watching.